Thank you for joining us today. My name is Brett Chadwick with DriveLock, and today I'd like to discuss cloud encryption and the lack of security around storing files, folders, and data in the cloud. Cloud storage has become a very popular alternative to storing files locally or even on network servers inside your environment. Microsoft Office 365 includes a free terabyte storage offering for each employee to use OneDrive for all their storage needs. Conveniently, each vendor has an offering like this. Dropbox, Box, iCloud, Google Drive, and the list goes on. While these each provide a convenience and access to your data from smartphones, tablets, connected TVs, Apple TV, Chromebooks, and everything in between, it also sacrifices data security for convenience. This is the age-old security balance, user need and convenience versus security. While security would generally fall on the other side with a complete lockdown and no cloud use, we know that's not a viable option in today's business world. This is why DriveLock created file and folder and cloud encryption, allowing users to easily create, manage, and upload encrypted blobs of data to cloud storage providers while still providing easy, convenient access to the data that they need. Traditional encryption is large and difficult to manage. File and folder encryption, designed specifically for the cloud, allows users to create a single document or a single folder and encrypt it. Once encrypted, only that user can access it, either with certificate controls or through username passphrase-based authentication. They can access it directly from the cloud without the need to download and decrypt it. With certificates, access is seamless, the user's not asked for anything, and the drive or the file folder is automatically mounted and accessible. DriveLock provides full recovery and complete administrative control of the encrypted data while maintaining a modern work environment so users can access and use encrypted data from anywhere in the world. Encryption provided meets compliance requirements worldwide by being standard based AES, triple DES, um, utilizing SHA-1, SHA-2, 3, 4 hashing algorithms. So that's what I'd like to show you today. So I'm logged into a standard Windows 10 machine here, and I've put a couple links on the desktop just to make this easy and convenient for you. But you'd have your normal cloud-based encryption software or your cloud software and syncing applications installed. In this case, I have OneDrive and a couple others. Uh, DriveLock supports OneDrive, Box, Dropbox, iCloud, Google Drive, and really any cloud storage solution because you're just going to create an encrypted file or folder which you can then upload to the cloud provider of your choosing or maybe it's a private cloud environment so i've put these links on here um, to make it very easy but we put this we integrate into the operating system in a few different places in the start menu in the right click contextual menus um, but i put these links here so encrypt cloud storage folder makes it very easy for a user to actually double click that and it's gonna walk them through a wizard to actually create that content. So in this case, I have my OneDrive location and I wanna create a folder for that. I'll generate a name for that, clicking next. And now I'm prompted with the method of encryption. Now in this case, I have everything open for myself so I can use a username passphrase. I can use a certificate if I'd like. Um, so I'll just pick a certificate in this case. And it's generated that encrypted folder now within my OneDrive installation. So if I open up and I access OneDrive as normal, that folder that we just created is there. And you can see um, it's automatically been mounted as well. So now that folder's there, now I just need to put data into that folder, which is very easy to do. So we can go in and we can say, hey, here's some Citrix logs that I actually want to take and put into that, uh, into that folder. And so I can right click here and I can select copy for that. And I can copy that data over to that folder. Okay. 
reason my menu disappeared here. So I'll select copy there. And then I'll go back to that encrypted folder that I have there and I can paste that data into that. So seamless users unaware of it once they've generated that content. And I'm able to paste and move data back and forth into those encrypted folders. But if I were to access this from outside my environment where I don't have the certificate, then I would not have access to it. If I have the certificate on my machine, like my laptop, I take my machine home, I'm still able to access that seamlessly. If someone gains access to my cloud account, then they're not going to be able to access that data. It's going to be an encrypted blob that they're not able to access or retrieve data from. So make it very simple for that process. In the same way that we've done this for the cloud environment, we can also do this internally. You can generate your own encrypted folders within your environment. Um, very simple and straightforward process. Again, wizard-driven approach to that. We can create a folder to encrypt or select an existing folder to encrypt within your network, on your local machine, on a network drive, on a share somewhere. Very easy process to do, making use of cloud storage modernizing your work environment, and maintaining your security posture. Thank you very much for joining. Have a great day.